All right, I want us to move on with, with our first principles. Uh, I want to take a different problem with two terms, and there must be X there, so that it will, it will make life, uh, our life easier. This is what we have. The first thing that we do is to write the correct formula. It has a mark, so f of x prime is equal to the limit as h tends to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x. This is all over h. You get a mark for writing the correct formula. Remember, you can see the answer before you even solve it. So the answer that you must get in this problem is f of x prime must be equals to, let me work it out, it should be 2x minus 2. This is the answer that you must get if we're moving correct. Let's work it out. Remember, the first thing you put where there was x, now there's x plus h. What? Remember, x is in two, pla in two places in this particular case. So wherever I see x, I'll push in x plus h. I see x here and I see x there. That's first step. So I'm going to put x plus h here and x plus h here. Once I'm done with x plus h, I'm going to subtract f of x. And this is f of x. Right, let's do that. So this is equals to the limit as h approaches 0. Where there's x, I'm going to push in x plus h, so it's going to be x plus h. How is this x? It is squared. Do we still have another x? Yes, we do have another one. So let's work it out. It's minus 2. Where there's x, we push in x plus h. Are we done with any x's? Yes, I've done that with, with x plus h. Then I subtract f of x. What is my f of x in this particular case? It will be x squared minus 2x. This is the most important step. This is all over h. So this is the most important step. Remember, this is f of x prime now. We are now differentiating using the first principle, which is this formula. Uh, let's move on. The next step, it's, it's just basic algebra, where in this particular case, you square a binomial. This is equals to the limit as h approaches 0, you work this thing out. This is x times x. We don't want people opening two sets of brackets. You do this by inspection, because you are being tested, the first principle, not grade 8, grade 9. So x times x, it is x squared, x times h, xh, double that, it is 2xh, that step, h times h, it is h squared. Let us repeat, how do you square a binomial? You multiply the first term by the first term. Step number two, you multiply the first term by the second term and double your answer. Step number three, you multiply the second term by the second term. That's how you square a binomial by inspection. Just those three steps. Number one, first term by the first term. Number two, first term by the second term and double your answer. Step number three, you multiply the second term by the second term. Let's move on to this next one. We break this bracket. So it's minus times that. It's going to be minus... 2x minus 2 times h, it's going to be minus 2h. We break this bracket as well. It's going to be minus times that, it's going to be minus x squared. This times this, it's going to be plus 2x. This is all over h. That's what we have so far. This is our f of x prime. Let's continue. We look for like terms. We know that 2x minus 2x will give us 0. Anything else that I see here? Oh, x squared minus x squared gives us 0. I've got this fraction, which gives me a problem. I've got to deal with it, with this h. How many terms do I have on my numerator? It's 1, 2, Three. What do I notice with these three terms? All of them have got H. They've got H. So I can take H so that I will, I will, I will cancel it out. So the limit as H approaches zero. Let's take out the common factor of H. If I'm taking out H here, what will I be left with? I'll be left with 2X. Plus, if I'm taking out H there, I'll be left with another H. Minus 
If I take out h there, I'll be left with 2. This is all over h. Right, that's what we have. You can see that that divide there once. But h tends to 0. Where there is h, I will push 0 in there. Therefore, f of x prime will be equals to this will be zero i will be left with 2x minus 2. it is exactly what i said we will get at the end of the day this is what we called uh, differentiate using the first principles i want us to, ask to take one more problem to to show uh, the first principles